Number 13. Yes, sir. Tell us about an industry challenge that felt like solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. <laughs> um, I, one of the industry challenges that we've solved recently, I, and I, I wish we'd solved it for all, you know, all, everybody in the industry, but we solved it for a specific client, is the challenge in the, uh, uh, the consumer goods market of warehousing, right? Right. You, you know, if, if you think of any company, be it Amazon to to, you know, Unilever to anyone who produces products, obviously their ideal is to have no warehouses, uh, you know, get your product straight out to clients. Warehouses cost money. They add complexity. Now, we were working with a client who had a lot of warehouses and every year the costs went up and the number of warehouses they need to get up. And they um, no matter what they did, they couldn't get that down. They thought it was a, a forecasting problem. So they invested tens of millions of dollars in a new in a new uh, IT system, didn't solve it. They then thought it was a process problem. So they invested tens of millions of dollars fixing processes. How do we didn't fix it? And then we got involved through a casual conversation with one of the bosses over. And I said, explain to me what's happening. And then I said, once he explained, I said, do you know what? The problem is a conversation is faulty in your company. And the guy looked at me and said, what are you talking about? I said, by the sounds of it, two teams mm -hmm. have to meet every month and agree a number of products to make for each. And they, this has happened all over your business. For each product, they have to agree a number. And the two teams are, one is the team that produce it, the supply chain team, and the other team is the team that sell it. And those are two different personality types. One is very conservative, yeah, very engineering based, very technical. The other is very confident. They're a salesperson. So what happens when these two people meet? The conservative person says, we only need to make 100 products. The, the aggressive risk taker says, we need to make 1,000 products. So they always, and because that, that aggressive, confident person is more dominant in the conversation, they make 1,000 products. That's 900 extra products they have to store every month. That's where the warehousing problem was coming. But nobody, nobody looked to investigate the conversations, the meetings. <clears throat> we came in, we fixed that. You know what? The number came straight down after a couple of months.